sandwich. Known by the average population as an item of food consisting of two pieces of bread with a filling between them, usually eaten as a light meal. But I find this definition unsatisfactory. It is a culinary masterpiece, gastronomical art. It has been pertinent throughout history, from the first conception of the Koretch, invented in Jerusalem before baby Jesus could even carry his little infant legs from one side of the room to the other, to the contemporary creations of today, like the Panini Grill, which came as a beacon of hope in 2002 following the clearly drab times that 9-11 brought with it. It reminded the world that any pain can be repaired with the right bite. Each layer, each flavor representing its own identity, its own addition to the art. The bread, the base of the most traditional sandwiches. It represents the gift of God, according to many pieces of literature, most famously including a pretty well-known book called the Bible. It is the body of Christ in the same way that it is the body of the sandwich. It reminds us that we are in union on the hunt for sustenance, both spiritually and physically. From peasants to plentiful, we all seek, we all need, until one man decides to need, to dedicate his time and his effort into creation, until he can make, and then, in the cyclical nature of society, he waits for it to break, to break the mold and create once more, to evolve his creation from one medium to the next. For now, he has learned how to get his bread butter. And so the bread, the original art is used in an ingredient to create an even greater masterpiece. It has evolved, used a singular ingredient in a greater idea, a sandwich. It can be filled with many different ideas and concepts that can speak to different masses of people. A popular topping is the tomato. Defiant and bold, it challenges the very nature of the bread it tops, juxtaposing the religious views of the loaf with a sultry, sensual red that gleams out in retaliation. You see, the Christian church actually disapproved of the tomato consumption in the 16th century, deeming them to be lewd. The Italian word for tomato is pomodoro, which translates to love apples. So the artist now takes this sultry snack and challenges the sexual repression of our ancestors, bringing forth a new concept that challenges our views on not just the food we eat, but the love and intimacy in our own lives. As humans, we constantly strive to progress and advance, and this is made no more apparent than in the sandwiches we create. We layer up what we already know with further ideologies, possibly balancing the lustful tomato with frigid lettuce, which was used throughout a lot of history as a remedy to counteract aphrodisiacs. This was a belief dating back to ancient Greeks, as even the god Aphrodite, who's known for her sensuality, would have had her desires repressed by this leafy green. Now, whether this balancing of sex and suppression actually works is irrelevant. It's the statement of the lettuce that means the crunch of its leaves are so satisfying. It falls back against the previous rise from oppression that the tomato brought on us from the bread, adding a touch of irony to this crusted craft. Now, although a sandwich of this nature may already hold so much wisdom, it is but one ingredient away from the most famous masterpiece of the last century. That, of course, is the BLT of 1903. First published in the Good Housekeeping Everyday Cookbook, it simply took the foundation of what we know and added one delectable ingredient, bacon. A cured thin slice of meat taken from the belly of a pig dripping with flavors and fats. It laughed at our own human ambitions, representing the greed of mankind as we dared to venture one step further into our sandwich street. The pig has been used throughout the ages to represent gluttony. The BLT is only one example of an infinite number of bread-based brilliance. Each filling and bread type have their own story and their own messages. They are the single most brilliant teachers on this planet, as we don't just digest the meal, we can digest the ideologies it holds within too.